Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with some more Total War Warhammer 2 uh, Warden and Paunch Early Access. Grom the Paunch leading his uh, <laughs> squad here, ready to roll out all over some Skaven. Of course, who else to test against but the Skaven Chariot Lord Ikat Claw leading an absolute horde of rats. So let's take a look here. We've got Grom the Paunch leading a squad of chariots. We've got the ROR Teeth Robbers plus two Flappas and two regular uh, pump wagons. We've also got. The Swamp Things for some cheap terror, a giant river troll hag, eight peak loons with some goblins, kind of an infantry force here. We've also got uh, two grudge throwers, or sorry, not grudge throwers, that's a grudgeon, Gro goblin rock lobbers. Um, so kind of a goblin engineering build, if you will, all the carts and random contraptions. We've also got some uh, a big boss here, some spider riders, a couple wolf rider archers as well. And uh, yeah, for Gojira's Skaven here. Under the command of Ikit Claw, we've got a Hellpit Abomination, uh, Warplock Gisales, Natty Bubo Sharpshooters, a whole bunch of uh, clan rats, including Clan Dol Vulcan's Tail Slashers, a couple of rat ogres, and yeah, lots and lots of chaff, which is what we like to see. And this is one of the new maps, it kind of has uh, sort of this three lane setup here with a wider area towards the far side. I'm going to force Gojira kind of into this choke point area here, and you can see me kind of moving up. We're going to try and operate the chariots in this uh, little river here, but you can see the, uh, the Gisales here. The regular Gisales just getting absolutely pounded by the catapults. It's going to be great for me. And the idea with this build is I just have so many targets, right? It's super wide. I have a lot of targets that are relatively cheap, but that need to be shot at. So the Gisales, they really aren't going to have the best uh, time here. Even if they do get some good damage in, I mean, I have so many targets for them to shoot at, but here comes Grom. Rolling through the river with his wolf chariots, the Teeth Robbers rolling right behind, very thematic, and oh, the belly. Hell Pit Abomination comes in for a counter charge, very well done, but you can see the uh, Flap is rolling in here now. Oh man, I absolutely love these things, they're so cool. Uh, they're probably a little bit too powerful, I'll be honest, they're too cheap, but anyway, a quick hit and run charge with the chariots, kind of to, to disrupt and make sure we get a good choke point situation here. You can see Ikit Claw comes up. We're probably going to throw a Death Frenzy, yeah, upgraded Death Frenzy there to uh, juice up the melee attack of the Rat Ogres as they counter charge, but we're going to go ahead and just pull away because chariots. And uh, yeah, just kind of prepare here. Meanwhile, these Spider Riders on a saga of their own, up, oh, kind of distracting some various units here. That'll be just fine. We have a look close in, you can see some of the uh, Rock Lobbers have started to get taken out by the Gisales. But again, the Gisales are going to have a hard time picking the right target to shoot at here. And all the while, those rocks are being thrown up on the high ground, just absolutely wrecking the uh, Natty Bubo's Gisales now. But uh, here comes the push. Ikit and the Rat Ogre is going to be absolutely munching these goblins, but that's just fine. We've got our Wolf Riders in position, and we can get the trolls swinging up and around as well. And the chariots also. Time for a bit of bumper cars. Oh yeah, look at the flappers. They're so eager. They're just so ready. Yes, this is probably not good, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Just multi-charge and kind of play bumper cars with the Ikit there. That will bring the Hell Pit Abomination over, but uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a Brass Orb there. The Swamp Things come in. They do have Terror, so they'll be able to Terror out units away in this field. We've also got the uh, River Troll Hag kind of standing in support, and the Gisales continuing to get pounded there. We're going to switch targets to some of the rats in the center. I didn't quite catch if I got... I think I got some... Fanatics in the front, I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, the main focus is over here on the Chariots, who are just continuing to hit and run, pull the uh, Rat Ogres kind of out of position, and all the while the Skirmish Cav are doing skirmishing, we've got to overcast Doom and Darkness, help terrify away a bunch of these rats right here, got a nice break from the Swamp Things, so these uh, Goblins can follow up and continue, uh, continue their work, I think again, I gotta, oh, there it is, Fanatics right down the line, just wrecking those Clan Vulcan Tail Slashers, and some of these other uh, various rats here. So that's great stuff for me. Balance power still pretty close, though. Goblins have definitely taken a lot of damage. Some of the Wolf Riders getting chased away now. The Big Boss just kind of hanging back, waiting for a good opportunity to get in here and try and take out Ikit. But uh, the Swamp Things taking a lot of damage. The Gisales focus firing on them now. And although we've done good damage to both units, still 20 models at least on both. So they can do effective uh, work against the Swamp Things. But now the River Troll Hag comes in. She can do some okay armor-piercing damage to Ikit if he's stalled up in here. And using the Wolf Riders and the, you know, the Goblins and the Swamp Things. He's trying to keep Ikit bogged in here. A little bit of frame lag there from his uh, lightning. Lightning with the thunder. Anyway, um, yeah. B Gobble Big Boss is going to de deploy at this point. We've got the They Need Stab into debuff armor and melee defense on Ikit. 
Definitely going to be pretty good. All the while, the uh, rocks are continuing to throw there in the center in that giant blob of Skaven stuff. Speaking of blob, Chariot Boys seeing an absolute opportunity here to wreck all these Skaven infantry. are going to fly in, flop in, and generally roll through. Oh man, absolutely brutal on these poor Skaven infantry bottled up in this, uh, this river here. And of course, because this does count as shallow water, I believe, all these Skaven units are somewhat debuffed, whereas the Chariot's not counting as small. Since they count as large, they are uh, not going to be subject to that, but... Ooh, man, this is absolute brutality. Awesome cinematic stuff as the, uh, the Chariot's roll through here. Here comes the Hell Pit Abomination, though. Still relatively healthy, helping to keep this balance of power from getting too far out of field. But speaking of out in the field... It gets in trouble. He's got the they need stab and debuff probably again. Uh, no, not yet. He does have death frenzy on himself, trying to uh, use his doom wheel to take out this nasty little gabo. But that uh, gabo, he'll, uh, he'll actually trade very cost effectively here, considering he's what like a quarter of the cost perhaps of Ikit. Over here, these uh, fanatics gonna get in, try and get engagement to finish off some of these chaff units. And uh, yeah, the rock larvers continuing to throw away. We do have some rad rovers back from round. Gojira hasn't quite noticed them yet. A little bit painful, but uh, it's not like four. I mean, four rat ogres could. I two rat ogres, I should say, could do a little bit. Four would be much better against all these chariots. And I definitely think in this matchup now, given the cheapness and power of the snotling pump wagons, you're definitely going to want to go four rat ogres pretty much every time, simply to try and hold back this this kind of an issue, where you have an absolute tide of chariots. Ooh, a little bit danger close there on the rocks. Must have failed the animosity check against the Snotlings, but that's fine. Chattering some various units there. And, uh, yeah, it get, getting surrounded by the Spider Riders, who immediately get terrified, but, you know, the, uh, the lads here, the big boss, he'll continue to just poke away. Oh, yeah, there we go. Looks like another Death Frenzy potentially on Ikit. Will it be enough to hold his leadership? Kind of get it, getting close. We can get some of this stuff in the background. You can see the uh, Rat Ogres finally realizing they're still on the field. They're going to come back over. But yeah, it gets down to, what, 400? It'll be only a couple more swings. He actually routes away there. And let's wait for the boom. Oh, come on, little Gabo. You got this. Oh, oh it didn't do the animation. That makes me sad. Oh, well. <laughs> Up on the high ground, the Chariot's... Uh, this giant Mad Max squad just absolutely roll in here. We'll get one last cinematic shot. The uh, Troll Hag as well. Brom with his lucky banner. Niblet cheering everyone on. We're going to go ahead and just multi-charge this uh, Hell Pit Abomination because that's basically all there's left to do, right? It's to take this thing out. All the other Skaven units pretty much across the field are... Uh, done for. We've still got a few Rat Ogres fighting over here. They were able to come in and clean up the uh, Catapults. But, eh, yeah, not fully. Rock Lobber's still hanging around there. And the big boss can come in and get a rear charge. That should be it. Yep, critical army losses kicking in as the Hellpit Abomination goes down. And that is game. So, well played to Gwaljira. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that one. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, um... Just wild, to be honest. I do think that the Snotling Pump Wagons are a little bit too cheap, but even the Flappas that are a little bit more expensive, I mean, the extra charge bonus and speed, uh, specifically here, I can show you guys, but the regular Pump Wagons are 60 speed, as are Rat Ogres, right? So my thought was it, it'd be good to bring the Flappers here so they can actually outrun Rat Ogres. Um, and then, of course, the Wolf Chariot's very fast and not, not as tanky or as cost-effective, but they're more of a fun pick here. Um, to make this build a little bit more tournament-friendly, I think you could probably cut the teeth uh, Teeth Rabas and just get something else in their place. Uh, you know, even an, another unit of Fanatics might not be too bad. The two Fanatics that I did have, 102 kills, 196, very good stuff. Uh, 72 for Ground the Paunch himself. Yeah, 208 for these Rock Lobbers, 179 here, 108, 114. A lot of that becoming because of the terrain. But uh, yeah, for uh, Gojira's army here, 82 kills on Ikka Claw, not too bad. But the Gisales, again, I just had so many high ish value targets to shoot at, right? Like, Rom himself has the damage resistance and regeneration to shrug off a lot of damage. Likewise, the Giant River Troll Hag, I mean, she's only about a thousand points anyway, um, and she also has regeneration, right? Yeah, the Swamp Things also have regeneration, and again, only about 1,200 points. All of these Snotling Pump Wagons are very cheap, and again, they are targets that you would probably want to shoot at with the Gisele, so it's kind of that target overload mentality is what I was going for here, and it ended up working out 
quite well, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with this build, and I think... I don't know. I might make some modifications if I were to take it up against the dwarves, but I do think this kind of mass chariot thing, um, even combined with the catapults, might potentially uh, hold some interest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this Gobbo engineering build. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.